Hey, this is Echo Outdoors, and today I'm going to show you how to find fat wood. So fat wood can be found in three main places. It can be found in the knot of a tree. Chop the knot off, and it's going to be in the knot. It can be found in the stump and roots of a tree, and it can be found in the trunk of the tree. As you can see, it might as well fall over right now. Here are where its limbs come out, and fat wood you can find in joints. Not all joints have it though. So if you find a fallen pine tree, maybe, uh, really depends, but probably about half of it. Half of the knots have, have some fat wood. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just chop into this knot, and I'm going to see if it has any fat wood. can't really see it, but it did have fat wood. So now that we got the tree down, we can get to these knots easier. Some fat wood right there. Uh, just a little bit right there. I think it's important to note that it doesn't have to be a dead tree that you get this from. Look at this one. Look at this. Full of fat wood. What did I tell you? So as you can see, it's rotten. I might even look for it. Here's an example of fat wood in a stump. I found this specimen over a year ago actually. Back when I first found it, this camp right here. It's important to realize fat wood isn't just found in knots of trees. This is a stump from a tree that has been cut and I've gotten some of my fat wood from here taken off from this side. But what I'm going to do to harvest this, I'm going to make it neat. I'm going to saw through it at a particular level and I'm just going to baton through it. As you can see, this nice yellow color on the ground, maybe you saw through a pine tree, that will usually tell you that you found fat wood. Now, fat wood, as you can see, I just harvested it from a stump. But most of your stumps that you see that are cut are not going to have fat wood. It's just really nice if you just check the stumps that you walk by, if they're a pine tree. And uh, 
just kick it, see if it's rotten, and if it's not, take your knife or something, and then scrape the outside. That's exactly what I did right here. Over time, the fat wood will dry out and be discolored. All the fat wood that's in my bag, it's all discolored. But if you look, all you gotta do is cut it, and it's a real nice color. So fat wood is gonna be super useful. As you can see, this limb right here was cut a while back and fat wood if I chop this off fat wood has filled all the way to the end that's over a foot long right there this is your woods torch I'm gonna set this thing on fire show you what it does see what this piece of wood see what it can do so if I can get it lit That'd be nice. So if I just do this, it's gonna light itself. So I'm just gonna cut the video there and uh, let it burn down. So it's been seven minutes since you last saw it. It's going strong. I almost lost it for a second right after I cut the video but pretty good I just lost most of the flame really shows you how important surface area is if you cut these down into manageable pieces like I have on my Maxpedition then you'll be able to burn it all as hope this video has helped you out and Fatwood has many different names Light or not and fat wood are the only ones that I know of. And um, as far as pine sap and the fat in it, you can actually get the fat out. I might do a later video about that. Um, basically mix tar and turpentine, stuff like that. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's just fat taken out of the wood. Really cool. It turns the wood into charcoal too, so you know, pretty cool.